All right, it looks like we might actually be live. Jesus, talk about the clincher of clinchers here. Two minutes and 30 seconds until the start of the stream. Well, until the, the start of the state of play. Um, man, oh man. While I wait for everything to load, because it is taking forever, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twitch channel. It's Phenomenal 2 here on the Twitch, you guys. We're getting ready for the state of play. Uh, man, I just literally rolled up in my house. I'm trying to get this loaded. It's taking forever. My, my computer's being slow as hell. It's being absolutely ridiculously slow. And, of course, I wasn't home in time to update it. <laughs> Give me one second, you guys. We're going to get this going. Oh, my God. This is terrible. God, it's being so, so, so slow. Like, worse than usual slow. And I literally, it starts in a minute, and I do not have it loaded. God, load. Ah. Oh. I've literally been, like, sitting here for about seven minutes trying to get my computer to load, which is why I hate computers, honestly. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. Oh, my God, come on. If I can get it to load, man, if I can just get it to load. I'm, like, almost there. We're about to start. Oh, my God, a minute and 20 seconds. This is literally, like, God bless. I mean, this is barely going to load, you guys. Epic. Oh. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Hopefully my sound is working. I'm not even sure if it's working. I'm not going to lie. There it is right there. Fuck. Talk about clinchers, man. Butt clinchers. I, uh, you know, really thought... Um... Oh, my God, you guys. This is being so ridiculously slow. Hopefully the sound's working. We are one minute away, you guys. Uh, let me see if I can get this going. Jesus Christ. It literally is just opening a lot of the shit I was opening a minute ago. Oh my god, Phil. Oh my god, Phil. Damn it, no. Uh, and I guess I'm just going without it. I really don't know what else to do. There it is. Alright. Jesus, 30 seconds away, you guys. My computer's being absolute crap right now. It's running so laggy, so slow. Hopefully... I was hoping to actually do a, a before, like, pre-show, but it's just not happening. Hopefully this mic is working. You guys let me know if it is, because I, I can't see it. There it is. And there, I can actually see the chat bar and stuff. Uh, so you guys will be able to actually chat with me. Hopefully this is working. I can't tell if it's working, because my computer's being really, really, really slow. It looks like it's already started, kind of, sort of. It's just being really laggy on my end. All right. I hear you loud and clear. Dude, thank you so much, Dustin. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, talk about cutting it close, you guys. Oh, my God. And it is lagging on my on my screen versus the TV. So the TV is actually like a full 40 seconds faster. So here we are. Hogwarts State of Play, you guys. I was hoping to do a pre-show for this uh, to kind of see like what we were hyped about. I have so many questions. Like I don't actually know what a Hogwarts game is going to look like. I literally just walked in the door like six minutes ago. Like, I cut it insanely close. Just got back from my dad's. Um, man, oh, man. I, I didn't think I'd make it. So here we go. I'm watching on my big screen behind me with the sound down. Now, I want to know, is this an RPG? Is it an action game? Is it an adventure game? Like, what are we what are we looking at here with this Hogwarts? I mean, this looks epic as crap. Yeah, it's like a full minute slow. Oh my god, no one cares. Go away, go away. Oh, this is really weird. <laughs> Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. Oh my god. To uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten go. magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. Okay. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these... You create mistakes, your own character? You must create the witch or wizard you want now, to I'm play. hoping the create a, a player character mode is, like, actually pretty BA. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts... I wonder if you get to choose. 
Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. A fifth year? So is this like a storyline? Like attending charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Ah, oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. I wonder if this is like, <laughs> like an actual a action game. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident. That we I mean, it looks gorgeous. With a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Oh, all right. Well, you know. You may begin. I mean, this looks incredible. But I wonder if it has, like, RPG elements. Not bad for a or if it's just, like, a story narrative. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here, you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells. So far, so good. Plants, brew potions, and more. What are you guys thinking? Classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments, and mysteries. Cool. You'll discover dungeons and I mean, it looks passages. incredible. Well, that's As really well rad. Challenging puzzles Akio. that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. Okay. You may even find yourself in iconic locations you've never been able to explore before. Like the kitchens. Uh, Hufflepuff all the way. I'm taking the fill down. Expect us to. Now, I don't think there's multiplayer. The common rooms and classes like they haven't really familiar. told us anything. Most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. The 1800s. Uh, all in good fact. Once the Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is short. Nearly headless Nick, if I'm right. Don't forget why I'm here, sir. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. One's designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own school. I can't believe they're starting you off at the fifth year. That's outrageous. Like, I wonder if it's just a storyline game or if there's going to be, like, online elements or if there's going to be... Adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. I mean, it looks awesome. It looks kind of semi-open world. But is it story narrative driven or is it open world? Unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts lies in the balance. I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. Loyalists are capable of Interesting. So much more than people it does look like a story narrative. The world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures oh, all right. Corrupted by a magical force. Oh. goblins. And sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. In this fact, looks cool, like battling people and crap. Goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. A I goblin rebellion, man? Take down your distraction. Who is this child? Do you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Okay, so there's a story narrative, but how does how is how is the gameplay? Like how do you learn the spells? Like what is the structure of the story? Here we go, okay, yeah, thank you. Spells in combat. I mean, this looks really rad. Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities, including blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted. It's kind of like a like almost like Ghost of Tsushima is like you know you, you have a, like a different spell to do a different counter attack to something basically. Shield charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. Yeah, exactly. Knowing when to dodge and knowing when to sh this looks rad. 
This looks so rad. The combat looks nice. I can't believe you're getting to do combat. That's why they wanted you to start as a fifth year, so they could do combat. But it, it must be story driven. Like, it's probably just a story narrative game. Students who become particularly adept at spellcasting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. I wonder how if there's like a health bar. I wonder if like you have to wait for the screen to go from like gray to like color again. Like, I wonder how the health system works. I want to know how extensive the creator character is. You get different attacks, which will probably be for a different button on the controller if you like hold L1 or something. If I had to guess. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest foes. Interesting. It seems story-based, but I wonder if it's like RPG-ish. Does it have RPG elements? Do you level up? Like in the 1800s. <laughs> That's it's weird that they wanted to do it in the 1800s. I think that's really weird. What the crap? Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. Talents and abilities. Here we go. Spells. You'll have access to a deep set of upgrades. Look at this: inventory, character, talents, collections, challenges, map, outpost, quests. Throughout the world to earn. So it looks like it might have RPG elements because I saw the word quest. Talents to upgrade your spells, plants. And potions to increase their power. Decide which talents best fit your playstyle to allow you to focus fucking stealth-based attacks. Magic. You see the loot pop up just now? Buy or what? Own magical gear that will increase your offensive and defensive capabilities. In okay, so far so good, you guys. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow. I'm hearing RPG. For your chosen playstyle. I'm hearing RPG. What the heck? Potions, Herbology, and Beasts. Here we go. It's like a whole section of the freaking video that's just like... Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to... Look at it. Like a timer on the freaking... Progressing your development on the potions you're making. What the crap? When you need a boost. And this is kind of rad, I'm not gonna lie. Grow and deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate unsuspecting enemies. That's kind of cool. In beast class, you will learn about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter. Dude, how big is this game? As you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. What the heck, dude? What the heck? You can get on a broom? so that you may travel around the world whoa how big is this world show me a map show me a map companions some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends okay as you develop relationships with these I don't think this has online elements I'm really thinking journey as your companions and over time you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. So side quests and quests is what I'm hearing. Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, connecting with them more easily than with humans. But what happens now? Well, that's cool. Afraid of detention or breaking the rules. Sneaking in the restricted section again. Is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin. We've been over this boy. Double figs cannot reverse a curse. With a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways mm. between classes, and Jesus. gathering areas. What I'm still on the fence. I need to know more. I need to know more. I need to know more. But at least we're seeing gameplay, and this looks massive. This looks a lot bigger than I was expecting. I was expecting like a five-hour game. Just because everything's been letting me down lately, let's be fair. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need, and then provides it for you. Interesting. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and upgrade your gear. In accelerated time. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. 
What is what? it? Beak isn't sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. What? You can, like, make your own, like, freaking plaza and crap? The dude's on a hippogriff! Not everything you need on your journey is available at Hogwarts. There was a dragon flying! Can you ride dragons? I have so many questions. It looks insane, doesn't it, David? From potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. Well, you can, like, buy, like, different clothes and crap that actually has a physical appearance. But That's freaking exciting. has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards, emboldened by the turmoil of the times, wander the village outskirts. Wow. You must avoid them or defeat them. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. Interesting, As the man. As year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with light. Wow. Or wow. The the this rain. is a much larger game Even than they were broadcasting. Pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories wow. to tell. Wow. And side quests. And side quests. And with which they could side quests. Quest. That's what I wanted to hear. This sounds huge. Magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. This is incredible. I'm hearing collectibles. Roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic. This is out fucking rageous. And their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the room of requirement. Wow. If there are dangers beyond wow. your in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats. Dungeons and, and vaults? Untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Whoa, you can do killing curses? Calm down. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen. With a hippogriff and a broom, like ancient secrets. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be as you leave your unique. Give us a release date. Give us a release date. Here. In oh Lazy. my god. This year, you guys. This year. This year. That's pretty incredible. Wow, there's a lot happening. Oh yeah, dude, let's look at a behind the scenes. Let's absolutely do that. Jesus. That was your first extended look at Hogwarts Legacy. Dude, what do you guys think? Now let's hear Holy crap. Wizards and witches behind this looks a lot more than just like a lot more than I than they, what they were saying. But it there, it doesn't look like there's any online like aspect whatsoever. The attention to detail and the passion and the love for this brand that the team has is astonishing. This looks incredible. Our team is so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and give it to fans. This is the game that they've dreamed of for 20 years. Yeah, insanely. I, I wonder why they decided to go with the 1800s there, like, honestly. I mean, just to kind of have a fresh take so you're the not going to deal with, like, Grindelwald or... already so rich. And all we had to do was harness those elements and build a game out of it. The movies, the books, they all touched me in such a way. Like, it makes me want to go to experience Hogwarts. It makes me put in so much more detail into this game. And it looks incredible. We it looks really incredibly open world. It looks like you can just go there and nothing loads. Explore, really feels authentic. I wonder if it's PS5 and PS4. I really don't know much about this. Like, they've announced so little. From the movies that fans will recognize is really just the perfect God. handshake between the two. Just the discovery of, like, seeing things portrayed for the first time. This looks like it might be, like, a 60, 70 hour game. Like, that's pretty incredible. To get to touch it, to walk around it. You've got all these elements that can come together to create this amazing AAA open world action RPG. When it comes to the open world, it's just, we Open just, world, triple A action RPG. And wonder what it's like out there. That's all I needed to hear. Is what's beyond that? What's beyond 
the Forbidden Forest? What's going to be beyond Hogsmeade? What's These are the good questions. Traveling south? And we just felt like we had to answer those questions. Oh my god! I don't, I don't even know what to make of this right now. We were creating a real wide palette of opportunities and ways to explore the world. Are you see seeing this? Stories that are really exclusive to who you were in the world. Hogwarts Legacy is an original story that takes place in the late 1800s. You are a new student who is starting at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year, which is very unusual. So already there's a bit of an edge and a bit of a mystery. The original story that we tell in the game is your story of what you did you know, in the wizarding world that you haven't seen before. Or make our own magic with our story we're trying to tell. Fans are familiar with the wizarding world from, you know, the 1900s and on, really. But now, with this world, we're able to sort of- Arson developers put in a lot of nice work on it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Honestly, hey lady, how we doing? Fans of the series will know that ancient magic has been around for a long time, to say the least. And that Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. And the avatar, the player, has the ability to sense it and possibly wield it or control it. Our process of development started with rereading the books. And over development, we reread the books many times. Mm. Every time we start with a new feature, we dig into that. And then beyond, we would go. This looks like it took films. them like years to make. Uh, doing well just off work. What does AAA mean in regards to gaming? A AAA game is a top budget, like, it's your Call of Duties, it's your Ghost of Tsushima, it's your Naughty Dog, uh, you know, Last of Us Uncharted type deal. It's, it's, it's quality, but, uh, like, huge massive scale, typically. It's close enough to the world that we know that fans will recognize certain names, They'll recognize spells. They'll recognize certain locations. I recognize that doorway. I recognize that classroom. But mostly, it's going to be an entirely new wizarding world that no one's ever experienced. When people engage in the wizarding world, what's the one anchor? Like, what's the thing that everyone comes back to? What's the thing that grounds it all and grounds all these characters and grounds all these figures? And for us, we really felt like that answer was Hogwarts itself. That school, that famous school of witchcraft and wizardry, is really what binds it all. Triple A equals How cash. That's you. Let's be fair. It, it has huge budgets. It's grand spectacles. Everybody knows Hogwarts is huge. It's 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 it's, it's a high budget game basically. It's not your indie titles and all. And of course, again, even though some indie titles can be kind of high budget looking. Students on its toes. We put so many little secrets and passageways and rooms in this castle. This is outrageous. This we looks insane. Those very important locations. And then there's these other places that are only mentioned in the books or just alluded to. And we have to make the connective tissue that brings all that together. Having a world that is a breathing, living world is very hard to do because it's all about the details. There's no way this comes out this Christmas. Team, and this is a really huge game. Like, yeah, I got pushed back a couple times, but there's no way. I just don't see it happening. This looks this looks way bigger than what I thought we were getting. I hope way that when bigger. Play the game. They get as lost in it as I do. I can just be reviewing a side mission, and all of a sudden I find myself wandering Hogwarts for like 45 minutes because it's so beautiful. The community is absolutely going to love Hogwarts Legacy. It's gonna be so fun. Get that letter to Hogwarts and go to Hogwarts. Go to Hogwarts. I'm so excited for people to come to this to inhabit it, to actually enter the Hogwarts that we built. This is your Hogwarts Legacy. Well, well, well. We That's freaking rad. We you enjoyed the Hogwarts Legacy state of play. Our team is so grateful for the excitement and for the passion that all of you bring to this. It's truly what fuels us. Epic. On behalf of our team, this looks at so Games good. Avalanche, we want to thank you for being here today. And this looks incredible. Man, you guys. That's incredible. That's awesome. Who knows? They could go uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Surprise Release. There's only two months out. No, honestly, dude, this is, I don't, I, I, obviously with everybody working from home during this pandemic and all, I don't see that happening. Like, this is very much, like, if this comes out this year, I'll be impressed. The fact that they didn't give us an actual release date and just said holiday 2022, I see this being, like, April next year. Like, I don't, and that's me just kind of speculating, because, like, a lot of games have gotten pushed back. Like, obviously, I knew Suicide Squad was going to get pushed back this year. I knew, I knew a lot of shit was going to get pushed back this year, so I, I kind of... 
I kind of yeah, and it wasn't even on the live because that's why it was uh it was it was skipping up there on my uh, screen. But yeah, no. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, what are your thoughts? What are your your concerns? What are your what are your questions? You know, I want to see. I'd love to see like an in depth you know character creator analysis. I'd love to see. I mean, obviously we know it's an action open world RPG. Um, man, oh man. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and mute it and just let it play in the background while we kind of talk a, a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and wow, that chat is booming, son. Boom. And let's go ahead and start this over from the beginning. Um, we'll just go ahead and jump right back into it, just so we can kind of look at it while I kind of talk, while we kind of talk over it, ain't like... Yeah, so I'm just going to talk for a second. Uh, what did you guys think? What were your thoughts? Um, all the things. I, I honestly, and I, I mean, I, I'd love to know, like, what their character creation looks like. What, um, let me back out of this real quick. I'd love to know, like, it, like, it looked like there were kind of RPG elements going on. And I'd kind of like to see, like, you know, oh my god, they did do that. Oh, we're going to definitely check that out. I'd like to see, like, kind of, um, like, where, where the story, it, I mean, obviously, open world RPG, it looks like you can just explore, like, open world, insanity, Skyrim style, Nick Cage trailer reaction, listen to you. But, um, I'd love to see, like, I want to know if you can pick your own house. That is actually a good question. I want to know if you can pick your own house. I want to know how the side quests work. I want to know if you get experience points. I want to know if you level up. Um, it looks absolutely bonkers insane. It looks truly, like, stupidly good. It looks like there's, like, hundreds and hundreds of side quests. This looks like a 60 to 100 hour game. And that's exciting. That was not something I was expecting. I was expecting, like, a short story game. Um, it doesn't look like there's any online aspect to it. I'm wondering if they're going to add, like, co-op or, or maybe not co-op, but I wonder if they're going to add, like, some sort of multiplayer elements to it later. Um, because we really don't really know. I mean, you know where I stand, but hopefully it is something people enjoy. Very impressed by the work put in. Absolutely, lady. Absolutely. Um, or if the game chooses for you. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I wonder if there's, like, normally in the past, like, you've had to ask a series of questions and stuff. So I'm kind of curious to see, like, kind of curious to see where that's going to go, honestly. Like, I, I, it, it looks very impressive. It looks, it graphically, it looks amazing. The music sounds incredible from what I could hear. Like, I just have more questions. Like, I mean, obviously, we got a little bit answered, like, as far as it looks like it's very story driven, narrative driven. It looks like, you know, an action RPG, like they were saying, this character creator, like, I want to know more. I want to know. I, I love that they showed green and blue on the on the on the hairstyles there. Let's back that up just a smidge so you guys see that. But it looks like, man, I, like, I, I love a good character creator. I haven't had a really good character creator since, like, the old SmackDown games from back in the day. Like, SmackDown was the staple. The WWE SmackDown games from back in the day. Like, I love that you can change the shape of the face and then the hair color here. You watch this hair color as it changes. Like, you can change the skin color, of course, like any normal, you know, game with creative character. Like, the hairstyles are just bam, bam, bam. And then watch, as you can see, it changed to a blue and a green here with her hair. I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, that's, that's, that's really exciting. That looks really fresh. I love... I like the open world aspect to it. I do too. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be an MMO. I really... See, and it's so confusing because I, I thought it was going to have online aspects. But I was like, I bet it's a story-driven thing. I don't think there's any online multiplayer at all, like, from the looks of it. And I feel like that's something they should probably address. But it does look like we're getting a massive, massive open world action RPG. Like, And it's cool because you can kind of jump into classes and, like, and, and, you know, learn spells and learn classes and learn new potions. And it has, like, a bunch of crafting stuff from the looks of it. Like, crafting different potions that you can use to create, like, armor skin. Like, whenever you're getting attacked. Dueling is a big thing in this. Like, I didn't even think about there being combat. I just wanted to go to school, basically. Like, like that was, like, my whole thought consensus to this. Is, like, man, I was, like, I just really want, like... This looks really cool. You get a charms class. You get potions class. Herbology. Beasts. Um, all the things. It looks really exciting. It looks beautiful. I, I'm I'm kind of like I'm I'm more excited than I was, and my expectations are really high. But again, I, I probably have to go hands on in order to actually like you know, be super super excited. Hopefully, I get to a, like a beta or something. That'd be great, because I'll stream the shit out of a beta. I'm not even gonna lie, unless they tell me I'm not allowed to. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But the dueling, like man, the fact that you can duel is really cool. Like, and you like make friends like from different like classes and stuff. Like this is. It's just a lot. It's a lot to take in. I love the the freaking fact that you can ride on a broom. And, like, I love that, like, you're a student, like, who's just kind of... Man, like, it just looks... It looks so rad, you guys. You guys got any last thoughts? Time to grind in the spell room. I mean, something. And I love that, like, it looked like you could buy, like... They were talking about upgrading your gear. And they look talking about... Like, you could buy, like, different clothing to upgrade your character, kind of, sort of, from the looks of it. And, like, there was a really cool scene in, like, Hogsmeade and stuff. Puzzles everywhere... It looks like a good open world action RPG, and and I'm hearing RPG, so I'm assuming there's a way to level up. There's a part coming up here um, when they show it where it shows like you can look at a map and stuff. 
Dude, this looks this looks so triple A ridiculous. Like they 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 put a lot of work into this. And like the fact that they were like, well, what's beyond Hogsmeade? What's beyond the Forbidden Forest? What's beyond and like they were asking those questions. Those are important questions to be asking. Um like you could start the main story year five, but make tutorials in the first two year two years or so. And I'm assuming that like not having the first four years is part of the backstory for like your character or whatever. They said you would explore your story and the story of others. I wonder if your interactions with others uh, affects how the game plays out. Exactly, and you know, especially from an RPG perspective, like I'm wondering if you can shape the way characters treat you and stuff, or if maybe it's not that multi-layered. Maybe if it's just like you do side quests for them and befriend them or whatever, or maybe you. Tell them to go fuck off somewhere. Like I'm wondering, I'm wondering how this. It's all very intriguing. Like they're showing caves and they said dungeons and vaults at one point, which sounded really rad. And it looks like you have boss fights for no reason. Like this clearly looks like a boss fight here in the background here. It just looks. It looks. I I, I feel like I need to know more. A goblin rebellion and there's some dudes at Hogsmeade who try to jump you for no reason. Like, what is going on? It's very story driven. Very narrative driven. I think it said 1892 on that on that newspaper. I think that's what it said. But yeah, man, this this is uh, kind of rad. I, I kind of want to know more. But it does. It is a very good first look, and I'm glad they waited to share the world. I know people are very impatient about it. I know. I, I kind of like. I had my hopes up, but I wasn't really expecting much because everything's kind of been disappointing me lately with every state of play and every Nintendo Direct. I've been very disappointed by everything lately. <laughs> very. So I, this looks, this is promising, but I, I do want to see more, and I want more questions answered than anything. Um, but this does look, this is really fresh, really exciting. But yeah, yeah. Tell me what you guys think down below. Of course, I'm probably gonna post this on YouTube because why not? Uh, be sure to hit the follow button here on Twitch, Phenomenal Two here on Twitch. Of course, uh, follow me on YouTube, Phenomenal.